most, look, I have to bring this up because we were both at the Christmas tree lighting. I was most excited. Like, they were like, will you host the show? I was like, sure, yeah, I love it. Like, I love Christmas. I was most excited. <laughs> this is me dancing. Singing every damn word. I'm not kidding. I wore my sister out with your song <laughs> at Thanksgiving. Like, it came out in October, and I, was, I literally told my, I was like, Please get her on the show. I was like, I this is the DJ play Christmas song. I'm gonna say it. Fight me on it. It's the greatest Christmas song to come out since All I Want for Christmas is You. It, it's the greatest contemporary Christmas song to come out. Like I, I love it so much. It makes me so happy. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I've sent videos to my friends like Blake Shelton and Niall. They've I've hit them up so much with videos of me just singing your song. Good. Yeah. It's so good. But you know what? That's what I wanted. That's the reason I never made a Christmas album before was because I couldn't find, in my mind, I couldn't find a way to put myself into to a share Christmas, you know? Really? So then I found these, I found my, a girl I've known since I, she was four years old sent me that song. And, and, um, and I didn't even know it was her, Sarah Hudson, four years old, Sarah Hudson, big writer, whatever. Yeah. So I got that, and then all of a sudden, I started to kind of not, you know how your mind is thinking, but you're not aware of it? Yeah. But so then I thought about doing the song with Darlene. Oh, I did not know the backstory on that, that you originally did. I didn't know that. No. I love that you sang the backgrounds, and then y'all twisted it, and now she's singing it with right. you. No, and I, because I wasn't going to do it unless she wanted to sing it with me, because somehow it just wouldn't have been right. But on this, one of the songs on my album, Darlene Love, who sings Baby Please Come Home, and everybody knows it, blah, 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 yeah. blah. When I was 17, I did the background on it. So when we came together with it, I it was, never knew it was this. Really, it, was, it was really good. I never knew that. I think I heard you say that on Fallon, and I was like, I never knew that. No. I, I think that's incredible. No, but Just, how would you know this like nameless, faceless little kid get in the back? Cher, I know, but it plays. The Cher, could you just step back? Cher, could you just step back? Cher, no. could you just sing a little softer? No, but that, oh, that's been my thing the whole right, They're yes. like, you're too loud, right, blend. Right. You're excited. But I, I have to say this too, because I think this is incredible, and I don't know any other artist that has accomplished this, but this is another number one for you, and you have number one spanning seven decades. Yes. <laughs> like, no one will accomplish that. No, like, two of us have. Who? Are you gonna say a band? Don't say a band. It's a band. It, it doesn't count. It took four of them to be one of me. Yeah! <laughs> That's my favorite song. No, exactly. The Rolling Stones exactly. and me. That's incredible. Right, and I'm not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wait. Are you serious? You know what? I wouldn't be in it now if they gave me a million dollars. Are you serious? I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I was about to say something else. Yes, I was about yeah. to say, I'm not Yeah. <laughs> right. If you ever change your mind. I'm never no, going to no, change if you, my okay, mind. No, no, if you, okay. I have things I mean, in my they career can just like go, that. you know what, themselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is brand new information for me. I'm just saying, if you ever happen to also, just. Also, can get... I just say one other thing? Okay. I changed music forever with Believe. You really did. <laughs> You know what's so funny? So let me say one thing. I feel like DJ oh, play a Christmas let me say song. One thing, but okay, then let me say one Tag thing. Tag it. Okay, yeah. okay, no, but I feel like that's what like how massive and and pop culture and everything and how it hit and impacted the pop culture community, how it believed it. I feel like that's the same vibe as DJ play a Christmas song. It's that same vibe. It's no one has that sound. I almost think if somebody sent me that song for my Christmas record, I was like, I don't know if I could pull this off. I don't know if this is me. Like it's so you. The sound is so share. It's so incredible. I love it so much. So I kind of feel like it's the same thing, like the same impact, the same impact that that's all. Anyway, I could talk about you forever. Do you get, I have to ask though, do you, I heard that you get nervous still on stage. Do you get nervous? Oh, are you kidding me? You do? Oh yeah. But your share. Doesn't make any difference. <laughs> I'm like, only Kelly. What, are you, what are you doing? Are your share? Be good. Be happy. Be excited. Don't be scared. I know, but you shouldn't be. You should just walk around and just say you're welcome. No, but it's... <laughs> Especially around the Hall of Fame. No. You're welcome. Yeah, you're no. welcome. You inspired so many people that are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is so... I'm not going to let it go. Sure. Our incredible Christmas album is called Share. Christmas is out now.
So we talked about it a little bit. What a great audience you have. I know. What is well, this? it's you. Oh, God. <laughs> I do. I do have great audiences, but I will say you have an impact. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Hall of Fame. Um, so you talked about it a little, a little bit now, but you, you know, you you didn't make a Christmas record till now. But what I want to know is, like, you worked with your boyfriend on it. So that's. Yes. Do you like working with? Significant others on project that can that can go sour. Well, I mean, I did it with Sun, and yeah. and um, but no, but this is this was a little bit different because Alexander and Tyga were in Dubai. Yeah. Michael Bublé was in Argentina. Cindy was in New York. Uh, no, Cindy was in New Jersey. Darlene was in New York. So all the people that were everybody what they were all scattered all over the world. Yeah. Did I leave somebody out? I probably. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I've never had anybody on an album. I didn't start out to do this. Yeah. And I mean, when I, I talked to Sin and I went, Sin, I th I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make a Christmas album. I don't know, but will you do something on it? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Call me later. And then I did, I did what Christmas means to me. Yeah. And then I thought, yeah, no, no, I need Stevie. So I called Stevie and I was like, I really was. Jen has a, a video of me. Because I was just, I just needed him so badly and I just couldn't bear You're nervous about calling artists to do things with you? Yes. This is a, do you, do you have mirrors in your house? <laughs> <laughs> do you, are you aware of your no, star you and are, how wait, you wait, shine? But you are who you are. This is who I am. Okay, but I need to let you know that anyone you call is going to be like, I, yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just wait saying. A minute, wait a minute. Stevie Wonder is not everybody, okay? Neither well, are you. No, well, all right. Well, that's not important right now. But um, so then I get on the phone. Stevie, hi, it's me. And he goes, oh, what's up? And I said, I've done your song, and there are parts of it I cannot get, and I've tried and I've tried, but they're not me, they're you. So I need you to come and do it. What a beautiful way to ask. Right. And yeah. so um, then... I was still nervous. Like after he said yes, I don't think I heard it, and I just kept selling it. <laughs> and then, and then finally he said at the end, he said, "Share, share what? Uh, wait, hold." And I went, "Yeah." And he said, "Do you want me to play my harmonica?" And it was like, "Oh yes, God, exactly. thank, you. thank you so much." You want to know why? Cause you're share. I know. Yeah. Okay, but let me get it through. <laughs> what the hell? But let wait. But then let me tell you what happened. So we hang up the phone, and I go running around my bedroom. I jump up and down on my bed going, Stevie Wonder's going to be on my album. It's like she's completely unaware. I love that you, I, I still, I love that I get excited like that, too. I'm inspired by artists. I love collaborating. I do that, too. But I just love how unaware you are of you. It's pretty great. Yeah. In ways I am. But in I other did, ways, we just found out. Right, yeah. no, but in ways I am, but in other ways I'm just not because, you know, you, you are yourself from, like I've been shared since I was five, just people didn't know it, you know? Yeah, yeah. My mom knew it, yeah. but, but people didn't know it because I was really bizarre. I mean, I had dyslexia, I still have it, but I had it when I was young and so I, my teachers didn't think I was stupid. They thought I didn't apply myself or didn't care or whatever. They yeah. had no idea I was learning everything through listening to them. So one time I got F on my, um, on my math test. So I came home and I was like, not crying, but I was very, very upset. And I said, mom, I can't even see numbers. When I look at them, I don't, I can't see them. I know that I'm like, I just can't, I don't understand them. And she said, it's okay, honey. When you grow up, you're gonna have someone to do math for you. <laughs> No, can I tell you this? I'm so thankful that you're open about that because I actually found that out and my daughter's dyslexic and like I, I went home last night and we have dance parties all the time at our house and the dance party we have now, like my kids know your song so well. DJ play Christmas song, that's all we've been doing in our living room. And anyway, um, I said, uh, hey, you know, cause she just found out she has to have tutoring again or whatever and she was very upset about it. And so anyway, when I told her, I said, hey, you know what? I go, the girl who sings the song we've been dancing to almost every night, I was like, she's dyslexic. I was like, and she's, she's better than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it made her feel so powerful. Because I was like, you don't see it as a superpower, but it is, you just see things differently, that's no. all. Most people see it one way, you see it differently. But 
having people like you who are so massively popular and people love you and adore you and you're so successful and you know, you have this amazing life. Having kids that have that to look up to is so cool that you're Woo! open about it. Because I'm not dyslexic. So she gets very, you know, very sad about it. No, it's, re it's really difficult because you feel that you, well, you just feel that you're stupid and, and, That's and, right, yeah. and there was no name for it when I was little. There was it's just nothing, harder. you know, there was nothing. Yeah. But um, the thing I couldn't do that I learned how to do, Sonny, help me, I couldn't read because in those days you had to read in every class. You had to read so many chapters. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. Well, even with math, the problem is usually it's in word form. Like, hey, do the da da da, and then you have to. That would confuse her. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, it just it's confusing as hell. All those things, you yeah. Know? And then, and then Sonny gave me when he and I got together because I said, you know, I want to read, but I, and I can read, but I just can't do it quickly at all. Mm -hmm. Except I can memorize the script at, after one time. So go figure. Yeah. But so he gave me a book called The Saracen Blade, and I read it, and I was like, this is heaven. This is just heaven. When you find a book that you really love. And, and then I just started reading everything. Yeah. I mean, he and I got in a fight because I was reading Mario Puzo, you know, The Godfather, yeah. in the bathroom. Cher, go to bed. I will be there in a minute. I'm just <laughs> reading This it. is a good book. Right. Yeah. Oh, I love books like that when you get in. When yeah. You, oh. So do you think you're going to act again? Like, do any of Because we love you acting well, as well. Yeah. Yeah. We love you acting. Well, there's two scripts that I'm <gasps> doing. or I don't know that I'm doing, but I'm thinking about doing them. You should think and they more keep about saying, it. Mamma Mia 3, Mamma Mia 3. Oh, my 3. God, I love it. Yes. It was Meryl and Cher colliding. It was, <laughs> it was awesome for me, because yeah. I'm a huge fan of both. Well, I love you so much, and I know that you are working your tail off with promo right now. <laughs> so thank you for stopping by. I'm so happy I'm here this time in person. I'm such a fan. I love you so much. Everybody give it up for Cher. <laughs>